Hello! So, Matrix, the new Matrix movie came out and it flopped. So, let's be real. I think this movie was always doomed to flop. And I'll explain why. But first, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Wilbur Seymour and his fantastic science fiction series, Kyber Station. Right now, they're exclusively available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. All the links and info you need below. Do check out his fantastic, fantastic series. I love The Matrix. I love the series. I love the Animatrix. I, I love the world. And I genuinely enjoy them. I think there's a lot in there and there's many layers. And you can watch them in so many different ways. When I first watched them, they were great action movies, and as I got older, you know, and I'm a big fan of the Wachowskis, and, I mean, things that they've done. But this film is the most mixed reaction I've ever had to a film. So it picks up about 60 years, give or take, after the events of the last Matrix movie. And the only way I can describe this film is both a sequel and a reboot in the same thing. And the word reboot is used wrong every time, but it's kind of a weird thing. I, there's elements I like, and there's definitely stuff that I like, but I don't know how it, it just didn't feel right. I'll put it that way. So, respectively, Neo was put back in with Trinity. There has been an experiment, the machines and the red pills are working together in the real world. There's like a whole thing, because there's something wrong with the Matrix. You learn that 60 years have passed since the real, in the real world since the machine war, and humans' survival has... survivors have aligned with some of the machines to fight something that jeopardised the whole Matrix. And there is definitely elements of this film that I like. I love the relationship between Neo and Trinity. And I think that's... I think that's just the nature of the... What's the phrase? I think that's the nature of the beast. You have a man with suppressed memories that is basically an experiment. Trinity is the same because we never saw what happened. I love the fact that there's definitely some references to key events from the Matrix Online, although I don't think that's considered canon. I love the interplay of the new Smith, and I love Morpheus, and how they kind of combine the two. And I think that's an interesting way of doing it. And I think Neil Patrick Harris gives a really good performance. It really does. Like... I'm, you know, there's definitely elements I like of this. The story beats, I like. But it, after years of the Wachowski saying no to another Matrix movie, it kind of just makes me think, why? Maybe it was to regain control, because I think the studios probably would have went ahead anyway because we know what film studios are like. You must milk everything until it's dead. Hello, Disney. Hello, Star Wars. Hello, Star Trek, at the moment. And it actually has some great, great writers in there. I mean, David Mitchell, who wrote A Cloud Atlas, and Number Nine Dream, for example. But the storyline feels stunted. It, it feels unnecessary, and it feels kind of... It feels like there are so many good ideas all let down by poor execution. And it often spoon-feeds the audience a lot of its metaphors, where I think the original films were far more intelligently written. I don't like certain characters. I don't like bug Bugs. I, I don't. Um... I, I find her irritating. <laughs> And I will say, I think Niobe coming back was a really good one. Jada Pinkett Smith is an elderly Niobe. And also the Maravigian. Like, these were really good ways of doing it. 
and I love the little nods to previous ones and I love the fact that it's actually self-aware but it's not willing to play up to that and it feels like it's not willing to take the next step I don't think it's a terrible movie but I don't think it's a good movie I think it's a middling movie I find an interesting one as well that there are references to other properties there's a reference to the path of neo video game which is interesting and I actually really like that so in this universe did Neo create the part of or did he create the part of Neo video game I know it asks a few questions there are references to enter the matrix there are references to the matrix online there are references throughout to the first film there are references to a lot of stuff I think it just becomes I think the problem with this film is although I can tell it was a labor of love it's a film that didn't need to happen I also think it's too long the storyline feels kind of all over the place And I think some of the timing and editing is not great. It doesn't feel as fluid or as um, that's how I would say it. It doesn't feel as fluid and it doesn't feel as interesting. I think The Matrix should stay with that trilogy and leave you on that ambiguous ending. I wish this film had been I wish this film had been on that level, but I think at this point, it just feels unneeded. And I always say this about a lot of the Matrix stuff, is that you can watch it in so many ways, it's intelligent enough to leave the audience to make up their own mind. And it's a real shame that this film just didn't work. Lots of amazing ideas let down by really poor execution and some really weird choices. I get what they were trying to do, but they didn't do it very well. <laughs>